Shalom family, once again, you're welcome. Welcome to this amazing, great, awesome world, awesome session. Of course, it's your friend and your sister, Dr. Irene, and bring you a timely word from the Lord. You know, of course, it's really late where I am right now, but I have this prompt within my spirit to put up this video. Sorry about the noise in the background. The generator is actually on because there is light shortage in some of the apartments where I live. Now, it's your first time to click on my video. Special thank you to you. Special welcome to you, all returning viewers, returning subscribers i love you so so much your first time please let's all go ahead like the video subscribe and subscribe to this ministry help us to preach the gospel to reach out to the world with the love of god and the lord says i should tell you this he says they are desperate god says they are desperate now this one is very specific it's very timely you know it is for you because it resonates with your spirit what you're actually going through right now and so god sent this word as a confirmation to what you are asking him and to what you're supposed to do. So he says they are desperate. They are so desperate. And he is saying you should do what is right and not what they say. Hallelujah. Do what is right and not what they say. Now, you'll be having this prompting within your spirit that you need to reach out to this particular person. And so, because the picture God showed me is they are struggling to convince you that everything is okay. Everything is going on right. They don't need your help. You know, they don't even want to come close to you. They don't want to get involved with you. They don't want to associate with you. And they are struggling to separate themselves. And so... You feel like probably they don't really need you. They don't need your help. They don't need you to stand by them at this particular moment. But on the contrary, the Lord is saying that I should give you this word. God says they desperately need you. But it's because of shame. It's because of, you know, the way they talk to you, they, they approach you or the reproach they gave you some time in the past. And so they feel like, ah, they're feeling embarrassed to watch you help them. But the Lord says, you know, the Bible says in the in the book of uh, the Bible says it says what how different will you be if you help only those from whom you are expecting to get help back you know it says even 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 the the the, the even the worldly people, they do. So they lend only to those they know will give them back. So God is saying, yes, they might, they might not have done things well in the past. But he is saying now that this person desperately needs you. And you should not base, you know, your conviction on what they are saying. Do what is right. Do what he is prompting your spirit to do. No matter how it will cost you. No matter how painful it will be. Because your reward is with him. With Christ Jesus. Not with this particular person. I pray this word is going to lead and guide you to make the right choices. And you will be blessed.